What's up guys, Sal here. So it seems we are officially into a season of Galaxy S21 leaks. Just yesterday we talked about some of the specs of the Galaxy S21 Ultra and now we have more details about the Plus version, the Galaxy S21 Plus. Apparently the battery capacity of the Galaxy S21 Plus has been leaked. Samsung has been increasing the battery capacity of its Galaxy S model year over year and next year will be no different. The information comes from a Dutch website Galaxy Club who by the way are very reputable. According to them, Samsung has listed a battery pack denoted as this model number which belongs to the Galaxy S21 Plus given that the battery on the Galaxy S20 Plus carries a model number of this. So the S21 Plus will have a 4800 mAh battery which is 300 mAh bigger than the Galaxy S20 Plus's 4500 mAh battery cell. This also means that the regular S21 and S21 Ultra will also have bigger batteries. The Galaxy S20 Ultra has a 5000 mAh battery, so it's more than likely the S21 Ultra to have battery capacity somewhere in the range of 5200 to 5500 mAh, which is big. Coupled with next year's 5 nanometer chipsets, which are expected to be 20% more efficient than the 7 nanometer chipsets, the Galaxy S21 lineup will surely offer better battery life than this year's Galaxy S models. In 2018, Apple became the first US company to have a market value of $1 trillion. And now two years later, they've doubled that and became a $2 trillion company, again making it the first company in the United States to reach that milestone. By the way, Saudi Aramco is the first company in the world to reach a $2 trillion valuation, but plunging oil prices have hurt the company's stock. By the way, Amazon and Microsoft are moving closer to the $2 trillion mark too. Both are valued at about $1.6 trillion. Google is also worth more than $1 trillion by the way. The reason Apple is getting bigger day by day was because of Tim Cook's decision of focusing on software as in subscriptions instead of trying to focus on selling new iPhone models as they would be able to obtain higher profit margins by selling recurring subscriptions to a larger number of iPhone users worldwide. And judging by the market today, it sure looks like Tim Cook is the best thing that has ever happened to Apple after Steve Jobs. So ZTE will be the first company to launch a commercial available under display selfie camera smartphone called ZTE Axon 20. And here's how it's gonna look. ZTE themselves have posted the image. The front looks clean like a slab of glass. The specs of this handset are upper mid-range with Snapdragon 765G and it won't be available in countries that are not called China. People are interested in this handset because they want to see whether or not the under display camera tag is ready for prime time which will in turn give us a better idea of whether or not big brands like Samsung will include it on their flagships the Galaxy S21. Speaking of which, for all the latest updates on the S21, please be sure to subscribe. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.